I did suffer from sciatica, which was one of the most painful things I'd ever experienced. Lots of women love being pregnant and say they feel really womanly, but I felt really ungraceful and struggled a bit with that. It's tough working as a single parent, but I'm lucky enough to have chunks of time when I'm at home and a huge circle of friends and family, although my biggest extravagance is childcare. I would have done anything to keep my family together, but it wasn't to be. I do feel pretty strong. If I don't do a bit of theater at least once a year, I feel depleted and starved. Television is very instant. Theater is much more free, but you are very much on your own up there on stage and in control of your own performance. I never wanted to be famous and live my life in the glare of publicity. Emotions interest me, and I'm fascinated by how a child's mind works. So many people are focused on reaching the top of an imaginary ladder that they don't enjoy the climb. I like the fact I've got a past to learn from, but I don't want to wish my life away either. People seem surprised by what a giggly mess I can become. I love being able to do a bit of theater, do a bit of telly, and do a bit of film. For me, if I can dance and not really realize I'm keeping fit, but I am then great, dance is a good one. Tips wise, I'd say drink as much water as possible, and I always think if you can do half an hour of exercise every day or, at least, get your heart rate up for half an hour every day, even if it's a power walk, it's good. In my head, that climb up the career ladder just doesn't exist. I feel I've achieved everything I set out to achieve as far as work goes. Once you get into your 40s, you're no longer leading lady age. Generally, those roles get offered to women in their 20s and 30s. A stable and happy mom leads to stable and happy kids. It all has a knock-on effect. If there is a snobbery, then they haven't been on set to see how a show like EastEnders works. Because I know for a fact that some of my favorite actors are still not capable of doing what these guys do. I'd love to go to Indonesia, Bali, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Cambodia. I've been to three different islands in the Maldives, and the Caribbean was relaxing, although my holidays are always peppered with some sport, sightseeing, or diving. I don't want to take anything that's coming in for the sake of work. I want to choose carefully, as I have done since leaving EastEnders. Sciences were not my favorite subjects at school. I preferred English, drama, music, and history. When I came out of school, my mom was one of the youngest moms waiting at the gate. She was the cool mom on the block. I like to have a reason to change my hair. I'm not very good at saying, I think I'm going to do something else with my hair now. I like a character to lead it that way. The idea of going back to school and revising for exams would be hellish. As an actor, my form of revising is learning scenes, but to start going through biology, chemistry, and all of those sciences would be just a nightmare. I don't want to be moaning about getting older or being overweight. I just want to focus on being happy and healthy. My mom was the worst timekeeper, and she never worried about the house being spotless, so it was always the place where all my mates wanted to hang out. 
Chasing perfection can make you go mad. We work in a business where you feel you always have to say yes, because you never know when you will work again. But I found myself questioning that paranoia, which I'd grown up with ever since I started working in the theater in my late teens. If I grow older like my mom, I'll be happy. She's never touched her face. She has laughter lines, but looks lovely. I've always had a thing about Judy Dench, Kate Blanchett, Helen Mirren, Julie Walters, and Imelda Staunton. I'm hoping to follow in their footsteps. While the kids are little, I want to maintain a job, keep a roof over their heads, and make them proud. I want them to have good female role models in their life. I love nice fabrics and texture like velvet and silk and have a special Moroccan corner in my house to curl up and red in. I have Italian heritage, so I'm keen to go over for a few months with the girls and soak up the culture and the food. I'd like us all to learn Italian together as a family. It's something I've been saying for years. I love any type of cheese, preferably on a large board with a glass of Chateauneuf du Pape. I actually did an upholstery course a little while ago and have a brand new sewing machine with my name on it, ready to start tearing apart the soft furnishings in my house. My dad came from quite a poor background, so we were made to understand the value of money from an early age, and because of that, I always wanted to be self-sufficient and earn my own money. I had a Saturday job in Barrett's shoe shop at the age of 15. I was quite canny when I was doing a stenders, so the money went into property. I made sure that I didn't blow it all. If anything, I would say the movies I've done have been very low paid. TV work and voiceovers have been more lucrative. I didn't enjoy being pregnant. You feel particularly ungraceful. I became a spokeswoman for Future Friendly, a partnership between sustainability experts and household brands trying to inspire people to save water, energy, and packaging. I love the idea of solar panels, but they are very expensive. I hope, as living sustainably becomes the norm, they will become more accessible. My favorite view is just up the road from my house where, if you look one way, you can see Alexander Palace, and if you turn the other, you get a panoramic view of the whole of London, including the Gherkin and Canary Wharf. I went through a phase in my 20s when I was overdosing on self-help books, so it was really refreshing to read The Alchemist because it was a novel but it still had the same wisdom, wasn't patronizing, and didn't tell you how you should live your life. I'm a big fan of Jamie Oliver, and I've got all of his books. His recipe for peas with white wine and bacon is one of my favorites. I love going into junk shops, picking up something that looks like it's got a bit of history to it then sanding it down and reviving it. Everyone talks about 40 like it's massive, but I looked at Joanna Lumley at the Abfab premiere the other day, and she looks amazing at 70, that's 30 years older than 40, which sounds ridiculous. The number doesn't matter, it's what's going on for you. I always thought if I wasn't an actor, I might make quite a good detective, mainly because I'm nosy. With TV shows that film in London, you're pretty much around for your kids, so that's good. I'm not waiting for Mr. Wright. I'd be open to dating, but I'm happy not.
I'm not on Tinder or anything. Sometimes it's more tiring being at home with your child than it is being at work. But I thrive on variety, so if you can get a good balance in your life, then I think that's the key. My default setting Italian recipes that I always fall back on are the ones that we had as kids, like spaghetti vongole, which is tomato and clams with spaghetti. I juice beetroots, carrots, celery, pineapples, or anything in my fridge that's left over. I just chuck it all in, it's very good for cleansing your system.